If your food was canned and prepared properly, it'll last a lifetime. If it was canned and prepared properly, how would you know? There are very specific things to look for to see if your canned food or food that you canned has been done properly. Let's go through the list. Number one, leaking. We're talking about food in cans or ones that you canned. Basically, if the seal is actually uh, still has its integrity, you'll be good to go. If not, it'll leak. This is actually even more especially vulnerable when it comes to pull tabs. I mean, they're easier to open, but since it actually has a very thin layer of metal there, it actually is more prone to leaking. Number two, bulging. Yeah, I don't have one to show you, but bulging cans, really bad news. And what happens is if somehow, if your can does actually have a break in the integrity, Clostridium botulinum will actually get in, botulism, and that bacteria will grow. And as it grows, it releases gases and it will actually make the can expand out. If you actually have a can that's bulging, you'll probably find a, a place where the integrity is broken, but either way, toss it. You definitely don't want to have any bulging cans at all. Number three, squirting liquids. Nobody likes squirting cans, but if you open it and liquid squirts out, it's the same thing. The botulism, botulism in there is actually causing an increase in pressure, and when you popped it open through that, or a can opener, for example, the juices will squirt out. And I mean really squirt out, it's very obvious. Another bad sign, toss it out. Number four, badly dented. Now, I don't have any dented ones with me, but the dents, depending on how they look, it may be good. Let me give you an idea. There's a seam right around the top. There's a seam right around the bottom. If there's a dent that affects those seams, bad news. Furthermore, if you feel along the can, you'll actually notice there's actually a seam that goes along the can right here as well. Same thing, if it's dented, that's bad. Now, if you have a dent in another location, just a general location like right here, if the dent is actually just nice and roundish, there's no sharp corners, that's okay. Any sharp corners, it's bad. Now understand, if I actually, after this video, pick up this can and drop it and it gets a dent in it, even along the seal, it doesn't make the canned food bad, I just need to use it right away before the infection from the bacterium gets in there and cause it to be bad. So if you find a can on your shelf that's been that way, for like, that way for a long time with a dent in those areas or a sharp dent, go ahead and toss it. Jars with loose or bulging lids. Same thing. Now obviously in this case, the glass can't expand very well. So if you actually see the lid, the lid bulging out, same thing, your jar's infected. And of course, botulism with home can stuff has actually been a problem in times past or in times present too, if you're not paying attention to what you're doing. And so you gotta watch out for those kind of things. Now obviously you can't bulge out this way without breaking the glass, but if you actually come across a jar and the lid is loose, same thing. You actually may be infected and you don't wanna take your chances, go ahead and toss it out. Well, in this case, dump it out and wash it out and reuse the jar. Number six, oozing from the lid. So just like we talked about before, botulism gets in, pathogens get in, and causes pressure to come out. And again, the glass can't bulge. So the lid being loose can cause this, but what you may actually see is if the lid gets pushed up, you'll actually see liquid or oozing coming from there. And that's again, a really bad sign. The contents are bad. You're gonna have to toss the contents and rewash the jar and you'll be good to go. Number seven, cracked jars. Yeah, as I mentioned, the glass can't expand very well. So if you do have like botulism in there, for example, and it expands out, besides just the lid, it can crack the jar. Now, if you pick a jar off from your pantry and it's cracked, was it from you dropping it? Was it from something bulging inside? If you don't know for sure, then it's something you don't want to touch. In those cases, especially with a cracked glass, go ahead and just toss the whole thing out. Number eight, gas bubbles. Now, back to the jars also, if you see gas bubbles in there, and what happens is when bacterium grow and they go through their metabolic processes, will actually release gas. And sometimes, if you actually have them growing in there, you can see the gas bubbles going up. We're not talking about shaking it around and seeing the bubbles, we're talking about just looking at it, and there's the bubbles. I mean, here, I have a little bit of bubbles, but this is actually maple syrup. In fact, I've actually had a, bubble, a bunch of comments about our cans in the back that we're always making something. It's springtime, so we're actually boiling down our sap to make lots and lots of syrup. This is syrup from one of our trees in the backyard. But you see bubbles in there, and bubbles in this case is not a problem because this jar is not like a sterile sealed jar like this one is. When you actually go through the uh, canning process, you'll actually make it so it's sterile and sealed. These are not. Here, this has bubbles, that's fine, but if you see bubbles in here, that's not a good thing. Number nine, a foul odor. So you pop open your can, it kind of looks good, and oh man, there's a horrible stench. 
obviously you have some kind of rotten or decaying food in there. And especially being chicken, that's not a smell that's good. So if you actually have a really foul odor or stench coming out of it, don't even eat it, obviously. I don't think you would anyway. Then go ahead and toss it out. Number 10, moldy or discolored. Yeah, so let's say you open it and it doesn't have that stenchy stench that was in there, but it does have a nice layer of fur on there, a nice coat. Uh, or if it has like um, some discolor, we're usually talking about, it usually turns like black and kind of slimy black. The moldiness on there, that's really a bad thing too, obviously. So again, go ahead and toss it out. But besides that, these cans will be good to go. Just go by those 10 rules and you'll be just fine. And uh, now with your cans though, you want to take care of them besides not dropping them. And when my kids and stuff bring cans in the house after grocery shopping, I always tell them, guys, do not drop them, handle them with care. And as long as they don't get down to freezing temperature, because the freezing temperature can actually cause it to expand and break the seals, or extremely hot temperatures, we can actually make it expand and break the seals that way, you know, as far as the heat goes. Um, nice temperature, you know, we keep ours in our basement and they'll actually last a lifetime. Yeah, a, a lifetime. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and watch this next video, which talks about basically the expiration dates or sell-by dates that you find on the cans.